Hey guys, happy Wednesday. This is for April 22nd, it's for Math 2. And today we're gonna to be talking about the area and perimeter of similar figures, okay? So remember all the things that we've talked about similar figures before, you know if we're talking about similar figures, we're gonna be using fractions to help us, right? So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, so some things that you should know about the area and perimeter of similar figures is, uh, oh, first of all, just so that you know, all the shapes that we're gonna talk about today on the lesson and also in your homework are already all similar. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do anything, okay? So um, for perimeter, the perimeter ratio is actually exactly the same as the scale factor for similar figures. So for example, if the length of one of the sides is twice as big as the length of the other shape, then that means the perimeter is gonna be twice as big as well, okay? And then for area, the area ratio is the scale factor squared for similar figures. So for example, if the um, scale factor is twice as big, then the area is gonna be four times as big because two squared is four, okay? So we're gonna use that to help us here, okay? So let's look at our first example. So it says, find the ratio of perimeters and the ratio of areas if the scale factor of the similar triangles is two to five or two over five. Those mean the same thing. They're two different ways of writing the same thing, okay? So let's look at that here. So our ratio of perimeters first, okay, remember these are similar figures. Remember we learned our ratio of our perimeters is exactly the same as the scale factor. So if the scale factor is two to five, then that means the ratio of perimeters is also two to five, or I could write it as two over five. That's it, it's exactly the same. Okay, now our ratio of areas, remember, is squared, right? Okay, so I would have to do my scale factor two to five, right? But I'm gonna have to square it. So two squared is four, five squared is 25. So four to 25, or I could write it as four over 25, that's the same. Okay, so that's the first type of example. So ratio of perimeters is always exactly the same as the scale factor. Ratio of areas is always squared of the scale factor. Okay, now let's do an example where we have to do some solving for some missing pieces, okay? So this one says the scale factor of A to B is 2.6 to 9. Find the perimeter of A. Okay, so let's look at our pictures here. So here I have two pictures. I have, I have A and B. Scale factor is 2.6 to 9, so I want to know what the perimeter is, okay? So the first thing I want to do is I want to write down the perimeter ratio, okay? So because I'm talking about perimeter, I need my ratio of my perimeters. Now, based on what we learned above, we know the perimeter ratio is going to be exactly the same. Now, I like to write it as fractions. It makes it the work a lot easier, okay? So since it's going to be exactly the same, I'm going to write exactly the same thing, 2.6 over 9. It's exactly the same as the scale factor, okay? Now I can use that to help me solve. So my perimeter ratio is 2.6 over nine, and that's from A to B. So I put A perimeter on top, which I don't know. I'll just put A, and B perimeter on the bottom, which is 36. A to B, A to B. We're talking about perimeters. So then now I need to solve for A. So we can ask ourselves on the same side as the A is the 36 and it's being divided. So the opposite would be to multiply by 36 to both sides. Right, so 36 divided by 36 gives you one there and I can bring down the A. And on this side, this is like a 36 over one. So I just literally multiply straight across, right? And divide. So what I would be doing in my calculator is I would go 36 times 2.6 and then divided by nine. So I get 10.4 as A. Don't forget, we always have to write it with units. So I'm gonna say our perimeter of A is 10.4, and if it was feet on this one, then it's gotta be feet here. 
you as well. There you go. Okay, let's do one with area. So this one says the scale factor of Q to R is 6.4 to 1.7, and they want us to find the area of R, okay? So they give us the area of Q, but not the area of R, okay? So first thing we need to do is write down our area ratio. Like that's the first step. So remember, area ratio is always squared. So, and I'm gonna write this as a fraction, as I guys told you, so it makes it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna do 6.4 squared over 1.7 squared, right? Squared, okay, so let me do that. So 6.4 squared in my calculator gives me 40.96, and then 1.7 squared in my calculator gives me 2.89. And I have to find the area ratio if I wanna find the areas. It has to be the same, okay? So the area ratio is 40.96 over 2.89. So I can set up my similar fractions here, my proportions. This was from Q to R, so I have to make sure Q is on top again and R is on the bottom. So Q was 81.92, and R is what I don't know, I'll just call it A. Okay, now there's lots of things you can do to solve here. Uh, personally, I would probably um, make A go on top so that it's a little bit easier. Okay, so I'd make my, um, I guess I could call this, Let's call it R, so we know that it's figure R. So to make my R go on top, I would probably flip both fractions. That's what I would do, but there's lots of different things that you can do to solve. So I'm gonna flip mine. I'm gonna make 2.89 over 40.96, and then flip the other side too. R over 81.92. So now I can solve like I did on the last one. To get rid of dividing by 81.92, I can multiply by 81.92 to both sides. Okay, and then here 81.92 divided by 81.92 is just one. So I can bring down the R. And then over here, again, I can put over one and just multiply straight across. So I would go 81.92 times 2.89 and then divided by 40.96. And I get 5.78. So I would say the area of R is 5.78. And notice we're talking about yards here. And since it's area, it's gotta be squared. Okay. All right. That's about it. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to email me, send me a reminder, Google Classroom, whatever you need, let me know. Have a great day, guys.